Hey guys, welcome to week, holy shit, 21 of Down Bad to Chat. And today is Monday. We actually did a workout on Monday, so tomorrow is going to be a proper rest day. Let's review what we did for today's lift. So today was week C of the faster method, and it was the leg day, the shoulder and leg day that I despise. I hate doing this shit. So we did the warm up. You guys can pause and read this shit. We do some breathing, body weight squats, and then some stretching. Now getting into set one, this is where we do the reverse pyramid training. And these were the previous weeks. This is what we did today. Five reps of that, da, da, da. you guys can read it there. So we increased it by five and dude, this 45 was challenging. So that's why I didn't even hit six because I couldn't give no more. You know, like compare the numbers, man. Like I was always one, like just before, but then the last two, okay. Next was squats. Here was, here was the comparison. So. We've been increasing 10 pounds. So this is progressive overload. So I've been just, you know, put, I just basically add five pounds every time to the barbell. So next week would be 40, 40, but we're gonna have completely different workouts because now the next three weeks is the shock. So now here's the superset. It doesn't say superset, but I start supersetting it. Again, you guys can pause and read that shit. Here's the comparison weeks. And so it's kind of huge, 10 to 12. Today, I just went to 15 because there's nothing in between that. And I did that shit, let's go. And then, so I would do the lateral raises and then right after I finished, I would go right onto the leg extension machine. And then when I finish the leg extension, I go right back to lateral raises. And then after that, boom, boom, boom. So this is super setting. So you maximize the time. You don't fucking take a break. Your break is the workout. And then you do another workout to take a break for the one you just did, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying. Okay, the next super set. You guys can pause and read. So here was hamstring curls. Again, we've just been increasing five pounds. And honestly, think I was doing my thinking today. With calf raises, man, I could have been holding like 10 pounds, 10 pounds on each hand. And you know, I kinda, this was a missed opportunity these past weeks, but because I was right next to the hamstring, hamstring curl machine, I just, I don't know, I wanted to get it done because it, it already takes me like an hour. Like I hit the hour point by this time or even plus, and I just, I just wanna go home but that's on me. Hopefully there's more calf raises workouts in the upcoming weeks and I can redeem myself because th those calves ain't gonna grow if I just do body weight. But I made sure to do them slow and like really, you know, flex my calves. And then the last super set, this is the most dreadful one. And it's the, it's the upright rows and then the lunges. And I increased by five pounds each week. So you guys can get that, that is, that is the whole fucking, um, Oh, and then this is the, the walking lunges. And then back and bicep is gonna be this Wednesday. So, there's that. And I'm really glad I completed it today. I, and also this morning I walked in and I canceled my boxing subscription. And I think I'm still gonna have to pay for the next upcoming month, but whatever. But yeah, now it's I'm dedicated to, to the gym. It's gonna be lift and steel primarily because I need to just build muscle. I got to tear this shit and then keep eating protein and repairs. And then each week just increase everything by five pounds, 10 pounds, da, da, da. and I just got to keep showing up. Okay. And then this was today's walking metric. So yeah, per usual, it's a, it's a perfect 4.3 every time I walk to and from the gym. So but honestly, I think I'm going to start driving to the gym just to save time. These walks, like, I mean, I still need these walks daily, but with a job, you can't walk this much because the end of your day just gets squished. So I just need to at least hit the gym and then I need to do cardio on the off days as my gym activity, you know, in placement. Cause I'm only lifting three times a week. So in between those rests, those rest days, I need to find a cardio activity. So, but I'm glad I've been at least walking instead of just not running. I haven't jogged or nothing, but the walking is just, it's good for you, bro. And I, no music, no nothing. I just let my mind, and now my brain is starting to, it's starting to cook up some shit. It's starting to chef up some fucking ideas slowly. It's starting to like connect this and that. And like, oh, this random idea pops up. But before me just blasting music or just listening to someone else, just it blocks that ability. So I want to keep giving myself opportunity to just fucking think. So I've greatly reduced my consumption of like audio and da da da. But I'll do it for something like driving. I'll listen to audiobooks or you know I'm a, I'll say like 20% of my walking I have audiobooks. 
and things like that or like a stream of like an educational something but now 80% I'm trying to just like be present just be the conscious observer and just like be aware of everything going on and just be in the moment and I'm, and I'm thinking of it like live like our parents did back in the day they had no fucking technology and they just they just had what's in front of them and th they can focus you know because they never had so much stimulation corrupt like we have the goldfish attention span because of less just trying to reduce this you know we have plenty of time for all this stuff anyway i digress so let's actually for my fitness pal i need to add it in but as i do that hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day thank you so much for checking in and checking in consistently and please feel free to see my journey it's a long one it's gonna be a lot of videos but please see, see how i've grown man it's gonna be kind of cringe and embarrassing actually don't because now I'm saying this and it's gonna be, but each each new Cisco now, after these like 20 weeks, you know, I just can't wait for the, you know, me tangibly lifting heavy ass strength. Like I physically have that strength. And then now the, the muscle will come as a, as a result. But it's literally, I have to, I have many weeks ahead of me that I'm just increasing five pounds and 10 pounds incrementally. And I just gotta, you gotta hammer away, it's chiseling. I'm chiseling away at my sculpture of myself. And it's just like, you can't avoid it. Can't avoid it. Okay, and now for my lunch. So this is what I had today so far. I had my eggs, and then I had three MCT tablespoons, cause I'm trying to I'm trying to boost up that freaking those calories. The two wasn't crap, you know, wasn't enough, it wasn't enough. And so today, look at that lunch, right? We don't even have a carb source right now. I just, when it was just rice and, I mean, I do want to introduce potato, but I'm just kind of lazy right now to do potato. I want to just get my protein in after my workout. Yeah, I was going to explain more, but yeah, I just need, right now I just, I'm focusing on protein. I need to finish the meat and then I'm going to, if I need some carbs, whatever. But I also bought some ice cream that, I think every day I'm just going to eat a pound, some carbs, some greens, and then, and then I just get fat and then I just... I reduce MCT oil and then that me eating everything as normal will be my maintenance calorie so honestly guys I don't fuck with eggs but I just have to it's just something so easy so and guys that is today's conclusion oh I also started reaching out to like more people in the world and my heart braces every message I was sending out you know more importantly I'm trying to connect with fucking like-minded men I can't hang around with boys I need people that have a fucking direction that they're heading in. At least, just some. I'm like, all right, let's be friends, buddy. <laughs> so that's on the agenda. I even scheduled a little call tonight as I was sent out. Uh, when I came back, I sat down, had a cup of coffee, and I just enjoyed the outside. And then I was DMing people. And then, you know, now I'm gonna have a call later tonight. So I was like, hey, look at that. When you, you can fucking poke reality, like, you know, and then I was listening to Outwitting the Devil as I was cooking this meal. And it's really, you know, you gotta think for yourself. You gotta tangibly create action. You know, the devil will take over control if you allow your control to be, like you, you're waiting for ex the external world to give you shit to do. And it's like, no, you gotta make shit to do. I DM'd random people. I was like, hey, let's be friends. And then one guy's like, yeah, let's have a call and I can like answer your questions and da da da. I was like, word. So hopefully that, turns into something cool maybe a friend maybe whatever i'm fucking up but and what else and then work tomorrow <laughs> the nine to five grind is upon me and it's coming and it's coming fast but obrigado to my father give me the grace period part-time work up until september when i have to work for his company or i figure out how to make money sooner and i'm like dad i don't need your shit I gotta pick up some shit. I'm trying to connect and try start trying new things like on my off days because it's perfect. I have a part time that's bringing in some consistent cash that I can use, you know, buy my food and pay for fitness and things like that. And then start experimenting on my off days, like hang out with new people, you know, go with a camera out and about, just, you know, do shit. So that's, I need to get out of my comfort zone. I've been so isolated, man. I'm so, the biggest introvert. I don't fucking, I don't leave the casa. I don't leave the house, so. Onto bigger, better things. So, I'm gonna finish this pound of ground beef and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Good morning and welcome 
today is Thursday. And yesterday was Wednesday and we did the workout and I completely forgot to record. So I wanna do that quickly this morning. It is the 29th. As we can see, I just got up. I have work at nine. So I wanna do this quickly before I gotta get the out of here. And it was a back and bicep day. So I'm gonna be honest, skip the work, uh, the warm up, but here is that warm up. You guys can pause the video and you guys can see. The first set is going to be these pull-ups. These are the comparison to the weeks. And yesterday I actually had to perform on a different pull-up assisted machine. I wanna switch my hand right here. Yeah, this is better. So you can see the differences in the weeks and I didn't add up all the weights at the end, but this is just what I did on the machine. All those minuses are supposed to subtract from my weight. You guys can pause the video and do that math. And then after that, we did weighted rows. And then this has been the comparison the past three weeks. You're gonna see that fucking reflection. So as you can see, we've been steadily increasing, but I actually did have a problem with this weighted row yesterday. There was a guy that took the machine I've been doing. What worked for me was I was able to put like 30 pounds and 30 pounds on either side. And I was gonna do 35 for yesterday, but some rando got the spot before I did. You know, I'm not gonna wait all day. So I went to the next machine, but in that one, it combined both the weights onto that weighted row. And when I put 70 pounds on, bro, it was insane to lift. Like, I was like, am I tripping? I don't know if the the bar as well weighted something i was kind of thinking it weighted zero and then all the weight i put on is only the weight but i may be wrong with that and so i ended up just doing 25 with a 10 on it and still then it was fucking heavy but i had to do the 10 reps as you can see and with eight and nine reps i did you know 50 pounds in total 40 pounds but dude, my back was like no so there's that i was i was quite frustrated but I had to get it done because it was, this was after work. It was at, it was like probably closer to seven o'clock. Like I gotta get going. All right, so now the start of the super set. Again, you guys can pause. And this is what was accomplished. So we've just been increasing by two pounds each week for the curls. And then immediately after we would do a curl, we would get up and do some shrugs. So we were quite consistent there. I know before it says 35, but I feel like that should be, well, I guess I did less reps and then this time I increased it, but then I did 40 pounds this time for shrugs. So I would sit down, do curls, and then immediately after that, I would do shrugs. And then immediately after that, I'd get back to doing curls. Now for the last set, Step four, we got hammer curls and rear, rear deltoid flies. So here's the comparison weeks. So we increased it by three pounds and then we increased the rear deltoid fly by two. But that was essentially the entire workout. So my only problem was that weighted row and I wish I just had that machine. And you know, I would have gone up to the guy and be like, hey, can we go on and off? But dude, he was doing like a plate 25 pounds on his shit. I was like, I'm nowhere near you. It would take too much time to take off weights and da da da. So it is what it is. It, you know, yesterday was one of those days where everyone else took the machine I usually use. And so I had to use like the grosser, uglier one next to it. Sometimes it's not as clear in the weights used or, so that's why I always avoid that motherfucker. But you know, it was fucking God's plan. He was like, you know, figure that shit out. So let's get straight into the health metrics of walking. You know, I almost decided to not, and I was just gonna drive. We walked Monday, Tuesday was the rest day, and <laughs> that's pretty clear. So yesterday we walked a total of five miles. So that's awesome. Let's look at that in steps, and that's 11,000. And we could check Monday, Monday we did 13. So now let's jump straight into my fitness pal. Let's see, yeah, I completely forgot to talk about it. So from my memory, I think I only had a bagel that morning, coffee, work. Then at lunch, I had a Subway sandwich. So that was definitely over a thousand calories. And then finish work, come back for gym. And then I cooked a, a pound of ground beef. And then I ate that. And I did three tablespoons of the MCT oil. So that's 390 calories additional on top of that. The beef was 170 per four ounces. So if there's four servings of that, so that's 680 plus 390 is that much. Reflection. And I did eat some ice cream, but if I ate the whole ice cream, I would have 
easily hit my bulking, but it was already late in the night and I fell asleep. So I did hit 2000 calories for sure. And that is the update for Wednesday, Friday. It's gonna be chest and triceps. And then that is the completion of week C. And then we're gonna go into week D, which is the, the phase of shock in the faster method program. So I haven't even checked out that shit. So that's the next step. I'm gonna check it this weekend. Hopefully it's nothing crazy, but I'm excited for these fucking games. Oh, and I love back and bicep day, might I add. And just the pump I was getting in these arms. I just, chef mm, fucking kiss. I can't wait for these fucking games. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate ya. And I will see you in the next clip. Adios. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday, June 30th. We are going to recap what I did for a workout. Today was a chest and tricep day, and you guys can pause the video to see what I did and to read what exactly I did for weights and stuff. So here is, that was the warm up, and then the first set was bench press, and this is week C. And guys, we're gonna be starting a new phase. The next three weeks are gonna be completely different, so. But I basically increased things by like 2.5 pounds or at least five pounds. And uh, you can compare the numbers there. And then the next set was the incline dumbbell press. I forgot to copy it over, so that's bootleg uh, note taking. But again, we went up in weight. We went up five pounds. We did 30 pounds for 12 reps, four sets. The next was tricep pull downs. We did 40 pounds for 12 reps, four sets. And then at the end, chest burnout, basically push-ups. And I did 14, seven, seven. And I'm gonna show you the walking metrics cause your boy walked a lot as well. And also I just got back. I was hanging outside. I was catching sun for about like an hour and I was listening to Outwitting the Devil. I was re listening to it because I need to be reminding myself of that. And I always hear that <sighs> I mean, of course you can read a hundred books, but some, what a lot of people do sometimes is they pick their perfect 10 and they, re st they keep studying that one book over and over again. So the more you expose yourself to a really good book, you're gonna find more and more information with each read and what each like glance over it. So that's just a tidbit. And the, the audio books on YouTube are basically just three and a half hours. So I just keep replaying that YouTube video. This is Friday, I need a thumbnail. 5.2 miles walk today. The day before on Thursday, 2.9. Wednesday we had five. And we have two more days left. They don't exist yet because we're living in right now. But your boy's been walking. And I didn't my fitness palette today, but I remember what I ate. So three eggs this morning, three tablespoons of MCT oil. So the eggs are probably 210 calories and the MCT oil is 390. And then I had a pound of ground beef but I only ate half of it, so I still need to finish the other half later tonight. And I don't know how much of this ice cream I had left. I just hog and dos. This is mad good. And yeah, I want to keep this short. I don't want to like drag it on. Um, this weekend, I'm going to be volunteering, helping my parents out in some Portuguese. That's just shit. Um, helping my community. I don't even speak the damn language though, so that's the next objective in life get fluent in that shit but again i just want to keep the shit brief just update y'all we keep going we're getting these gains yes, sir so i'm just vibing watching shit again educated as always and i'm gonna enjoy today because this weekend i'm volunteering at this festa this party basically and that's what it means in portuguese there's gonna be like hundreds and hundreds of people showing up or maybe even like a thousand so so i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you very much for watching this may be the conclusion of this week and if so thank you so much for watching really appreciate you thank you for your time and attention i know how valuable that is so thank you for giving it to me if you'd like to help out my channel and i would deeply appreciate it please throw a like on this video throw a comment you want to say something to me please i'll respond algorithm likes that as well and watch the video all the way through Please don't skip through algorithm likes watch time and subscribe so that you can keep seeing more of me again and again and again because we're going to keep going motherfucker so with that thank you for watching